to apply vinyl lines, you'll need your vinyl transfers. You also need your instructions on how to apply these. A squeegee, which can be bought on our website, and a clean cloth. And a hairdryer or a heat gun. You don't need to have this, but it certainly helps to have this. So one of the uh, one of the two would be useful. Some vinyl application fluid, or if you haven't got this, uh, water with one percent soap will be fine. And then just something to clean the surface with. Um, it won't damage your tank or your paintwork. So step one is to clean the surface. You can use some alcohol, just some water, just to make sure it won't react to your paint. Next step is to just warm the tank up. If the tank's freezing cold, just try and get it to room temperature. Doesn't need to be too hot. Now we're just going to warm the vinyl transfer up as well. <clears throat> By doing this, it makes the vinyl slightly more flexible, helps with applying it to complex curvatures. Now we are going to peel off the backing paper. Once you've done this, be very careful. You can either throw it away or you can keep hold of it because it's quite useful for um, aligning on the tank to see where you're going to position your final transfer. Now we're going to spray this with either your soapy water or your application fluid uh, just to help basically slide it around in the tank. It uh, stops it from sticking straight away, which is really useful when trying to apply something so complex like this. So here is the backing paper. You can just use it just to get an idea of where you will be applying your vinyl transfer and what sort of angle. If you throw it away, don't worry, you can still do this with the real vinyl transfer. And now we're going to spray the tank or the panel as well, like you did to the back of the vinyl transfer. So it's nice and wet, so the transfer will slide around. And now we're going to apply it. I'd always start with the biggest curvatures, the most complex areas. So I'm starting with the front here. Um, as you can see, I slightly knocked it a little bit. And what you want to do is once you've got that curvature sorted, you want to stretch the bottom towards the end further out as it will start to crease here you see on the right so i'm going to lift it up and sort of stretch it out more and down and around and this just stops it from creasing but notice on purpose i've left crease or sort of midway here and we will fix that later on in the video this happens quite a lot it's just because it's a continuous loop it's very easily done but we can rectify that And now we're going to spray the surface a bit more and we're going to use our flexible squeegee, which can be bought from our website. And you only want to squeegee over the areas you're happy with, as by removing this water from underneath the vinyl, this is going to allow the adhesive to start to stick. And activate. So I'm happy with the bottom line and the rear. It looks like there's a lot of creases. This is actually mostly just from the application tape. Uh, just a bit of heat to allow the vinyl to be a bit more flexible if we are going to be repositioning some of the lines. Most of it is fine, it's just at the top here you can see. That's where I was rushing a little bit. 
So I'm not going to screech at that area, just everything else that I'm happy with. And you can see the application tape is ready to come off. It's not even stuck. So now we're going to take this off just carefully, pull it as flush the tank as possible, just in case. And now you're going to see I'm going to heat this area up because it makes it more flexible. Now, the only problem with heating this up is it will allow the material to stretch, which is a bad thing and a good thing, because if you stretch it too much, you're going to have excess vinyl. And what you will need to do is make an incision and cut some of that and then overlap it or line it up. Uh, as you can see here, I've noticed it's just I've overheated it slightly too much and it's a bit flexible. So I sort of left it to cool a little bit and then came back to it. So I'm leaving it to cool. And now you can see I've come back to it and I made a little incision here and I've just aligned it. Just because it, the vinyl stretched slightly too much because I used a little bit too much heat. And once it's aligned, as you can see, it's done. 